Hi, I'm Dorothy. Welcome to Bushcrafter Bullshit. Today we're experimenting on waterproofing matches. I read this hack somewhere that you can waterproof matches with nail polish and it didn't say what kind so I brought two different kinds. There's a base coat and a top coat. So we're going to experiment with both of them and I have some pre-made already here. Um, I've also brought some water to put them in. I think that the best way to waterproof matches is simply to put them in a Ziploc bag. So we have our control group, seal that up. We also have some store-bought waterproof matches. Put those in there. All right, so to do this experiment, I'm just gonna show top coat and a base coat. And the bottle caps are for putting these in. I don't know if you can see that, but the base coat is much more watery than the top coat. So what you do is you dip the tip in here. And you put it on the edge like so, so that it's not on the wax paper and there won't be any holes. So this is the top coat one. Do the same thing. The top coat is much thicker than the base coat is. And when I prepped the experiment, it started to drip, and I see it starting to drip now, which is kind of why I did the double coats on everything, just in case I don't want there to be any room for error. Once that dries, what I did was I took them and just with the brush coated the whole thing. Let that dry and what you wanna do while it's drying is like halfway through or so, you wanna turn them over so that the bottom part can dry too. Okay, so let's just see how this goes. Really dunk them in there. All right. Got our control waterproofs. And we've got our experiments. All right, I did a lot of them just in case they don't work. We'll try again and try again and try again. If it doesn't work after five tries, I think this survival hack is probably bullshit. First, the control. My hand's a little wet, so it did get a little wet. Still burns. This is fine. Let's see, this is, let's do the base coat first. Let's try another one, just in case. Ooh, there we go. Hey, base coat worked. Let's try a top coat now. Oh. It kind of started it, but it simmered out really quickly. That might have been because of the water. So let's find another top, top coat. Dry it off a little bit. All right. Hmm. That one did the same thing. It didn't really light up. It just kind of simmered out. Let's try another top coat. Yeah. I don't know. I think three of them doing the same thing. Let's see. All right. This one is the top coat and the base coat. Base coat first, top coat second. Oh, okay, there we go, kind of did it. Let's try another. Okay, so it kind of worked. Let's try waterproof matches. I'm gonna do them on a waterproof box. So the waterproof matches are um, not doing so great. They're not even catching. 
try my pants. I'm drying it off pretty well, I think. Let's see. Oh, okay. There it goes. With the waterproof matches, you have to dry them off really good for them to work. Well, I think it works pretty well. Obviously, the top coat doesn't work, but the base coat worked okay. The ones in the bag were much simpler than putting nail polish on all of these other ones. This took me about an hour to get all this prepared. I just don't think it was really worth it. I think either waterproof matches or putting the regular matches that you have in a plastic bag, that's going to do the trick and it's going to be a lot easier, but putting a base coat on your matches will work. So that's it. I think that this experiment was fun. I don't think that I'm going to be waterproofing matches with nail polish for my own survival kit. I think I'm just going to put them in a good old fashioned plastic baggie. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to watch new videos every week and leave comments below if there are any survival hacks that you want to see us try.